Yo, what is up guys? My name's Hacky and here are the greatest money methods for solo players in GTA Online. These are ones that you can do completely alone and you don't need to rely on anybody else to help you. First thing, we're gonna head to the best all-around money-making property in this game, the Agency. Now, doing this method, we're technically gonna be making money in two different ways and I'll explain more a little bit later. Go inside of the computer, go into security contracts and we're gonna have three different difficulties that we can get. It's just a randomized list that you get with these security contract so i'm just gonna pick the highest paying one i got specialist which is the middle difficulty the hardest one is specialist plus which is probably gonna pay in the 60 thousands but it's all about getting lucky since it gives you a random three security contracts that you can choose from i managed to get a 51 thousand dollar payout for a specialist contract which is pretty solid for completing these contracts you're going to be getting anywhere from 35 thousand all the way up to 65 thousand dollars which is a solid payout if it takes only a couple minutes the one i'm doing in the gameplay actually took me only a few minutes to do which is really short so 51k in just a few minutes really worth it to do i just needed to go to a relatively close location take out a couple people find a sticky note with the combination i need for the safe lock steal some contents from the safe and then deliver it back to the agency extremely straightforward definitely have a fast vehicle just so you can get to whatever location quicker too now as you're actively making money with these security contracts you might not know that you're actually generating your yourself some passive income while doing that too. The agency wall safe generates a certain amount of money every 48 minutes which is every one in game day and all it's based on is on the amount of security contracts you completed. So if you've only completed like two security contracts ever you're gonna generate a very small amount of money from that safe every day but if you've completed like 50, 100 or even hundreds of security contracts it's gonna be a solid amount of money. Makes you think it's a pretty good idea to be grinding security contracts in general sure it takes a while to get to something like a hundred thousand dollars passively through that safe but it's definitely a nice side income to have that you could just go and collect every now and then i'd be surprised if someone said no to free extra bonus money so why not next thing you should be grinding as a solo player in gta online is the cluck and bell farm raid sure doing it with friends could make it a little quicker but ultimately you can do it completely by yourself heading over to the police station with the v icon on the map you're going to be starting a series of five setups that should take about 5 to 10 minutes each and finally a really short finale that should only take about 10 to 15 minutes. The finale payout for the host of the mission is a set amount of $500,000. For people joining the finale I believe it's a set of 50 or $75,000. Now for the 5 setups as the host you don't get any money for them you only get the money at the end of the finale. Up until then you only get job points and RP. Despite not being able to make any money until the finale it's still a very good money method if you think about it it should take roughly an hour to finish everything and five hundred thousand dollars an hour is a solid way of making money and i believe the cooldown for it is about 48 minutes one in game day which is not that long and honestly if you get pretty efficient with doing the setups and the finale i bet some of you can finish it under an hour this is by far the quickest and easiest heist we have in the game so i think the five hundred thousand dollar payout is more than fair huge w by rockstar because i feel like they could have priced this thing the same as auto shop contracts which only pay about two to three hundred thousand dollars if that sometimes it's under 200k but i guess we have so many overpriced things in the game so it kind of balances it out speaking of auto shop contracts that's the next money method we're going to be talking about now unlike the cluck and bell farm raid this one only has two setups and one finale very simple and very short the payout as we just said is less than the cluck and bell farm raid and that's accordingly because it takes less time with only two setups instead of five setups now i'm not gonna lie this is my least favorite money method in this video but it's still pretty good the reason i don't like this money method nearly as much and i don't think you should be doing it over and over it gets really repetitive really fast mainly because of the tedious driving you have in the missions the auto shop contracts are one of the the worst missions when it comes to just endless driving there is so much driving to do in these contracts i guess it depends which one but the vast majority you're gonna have to drive across the map and personally it doesn't make it as enjoyable as other heists which you have gunfights and you have to do other cool activities other than circling the entire map not throwing too much shade at auto shop contracts every now and then it could definitely be pretty fun and at the end of the day the solid payout is what made it get into this video then we have the next one which is a 
quicker money method. As a new player in GTA Online, you have $4 million to spend, you have to choose between businesses, and one of the most popular businesses people choose is the bunker. Now, inside of the bunker, we have the ammunition deliveries. The delivery truck is just sitting right in front of you when you go into the bunker. Press right D-pad on it, that's gonna take you inside of the truck and start the mission. Now, all it is is just driving to a specific drop-off location. Sometimes it's really close, sometimes it's gonna be a little farther. It's all about getting lucky. You can have a location that's literally like a 30 second drive away or sometimes it could be a few minute drive which is not that long anyway. And this one I got a little unlucky and it gave me a drop off location in the city. As long as you have an AP pistol or some sticky bombs to blow up the NPCs that are going to be chasing you, you're all good to go. Depending on how far you actually have to drive, you might encounter a couple of them but they're not that annoying. The yellow drop off circle is always going to be next to an ammunition store so it really depends which one you get. After driving into the yellow circle that is the mission done it really shouldn't take over like five minutes at the very most that gets you a fifty thousand dollar payout for doing a very simple task of literally just driving a truck to a drop off that's it at this current moment this is probably my favorite quick money method in the entire game despite that it's not the best quick money method in the game it's a very good one don't get me wrong but there's an even better one that we'll look at right now which only takes up to a few minutes to complete and it pays much more than just 50,000. Doing a time trial is the best possible method of making money within one or two minutes. If you're a total beginner and you don't have anything in GTA whatsoever, the junk energy time trial, which is the bicycle one, is one that you can actually do and get 52,000 bucks from. By far the best one you can do but requires you to actually have a very fast HSW vehicle is of course the HSW time trial itself. For the regular time trial, you get just over $100,000, so also a very good payout for one or two minutes. Lucky for us, we don't have to spend a whole lot of money to actually get a fast enough vehicle to complete it because the regular time trial is arguably the most difficult one. You only need to buy the Batty 801 motorcycle. That's the one I recommend. It's only 15,000 bucks in the Southern San Andreas website. Unless you're an absolute master at time trials, chances are it's going to take you a few tries, which is fine. As a beginner, it's good practice to get comfortable with driving fast and trying not to crash and all that. There's also the RC Bandito time trial, which you do need an RC Bandito for it cost a few million bucks so that one's naturally a little less popular quarter of a million dollar payout from the HSW time trial 100k from the regular 50k from junk energy and 50k from the RC Bandito that's almost half a million dollars in weekly time trials alone once again each taking only about a minute or two depending on the time trial for that week more of a long-term money method using the Kosaka is the Kyle Perico heist after getting a payout reduction not once but twice it is still considered the best all-around money method in the game. There's a lot of factors affecting the payout, but generally, you're going to be making anywhere from $900,000 to $1.7 million bucks from the finale as the host of it. Of course, this is a much bigger heist than the Clucket Bell Farm Raid, but exactly like that one, you can do it with friends, but I know a lot of people choose to do it solo. Doing it pretty efficiently, you can probably finish it within an hour total. The reason I decided to have this one at the end of the video is just because you need a Kosaka submarine, you need to own one to be able to start it up, which is a pretty pricey vehicle. Chances are, if you want to do this method, you have to be a bit more established in the game. And so if you're still a beginner, watching this hopefully you can make it to purchasing a Kosaka and then actually do the greatest money method in this game. Comparing it to the Cluck and Bell farm raid again it does have a bigger payout than the Cluck and Bell farm raid which makes sense as we said it's an overall bigger heist with more requirements and a setup cost. Rockstar have this in mind therefore instead of a 48 minute cooldown with the Cluck and Bell farm raid they decided to give this bigger one a two and a half hour cooldown. There are workarounds sometimes to bypass those cooldowns but I don't exactly know how to do that i never really looked into those theoretically that could make your life a bit easier but i'm not sure i hope you went on to find this video helpful if you did drop a like on it subscribe if you are new help us get to 200,000 subscribers that would be much appreciated you do not want to miss any more videos like these click the video on screen now for the must-have things every solo player should have in gta online i hope you all enjoy that video and peace